Hey everyone, I'm back with another review. There are many of these videos online, but I'd like to share mine. I'm going to be looking at two guns, two pistols to be exact, so it's kind of like a comparison review. The two that I'm going to be looking at is the Tokyo Marui Mark 23 non-blayback and the Novrich SSX 23 non-blayback. Firstly, we're going to look at the TM, a little bit of history for you. It was designed in the early 1990s, used by many countries across the world, but then in 1996 was adapted by the USA and given the name the Sokum, containing the famous LAM unit, which is the box, uh, torch and laser. It's been used in many video games, uh, Call of Duty, Metal Gear Solid, and many more. Before we look at the gun, I'm just gonna show you the case quickly. You do get this little cardboard uh, over box thingy. So it's got the gun on the front, you can see with the LAM unit, if you turn it round, you can see the bits and pieces that you get on the detail that you get on the back. Over the case, very, very impressed. You do get Socom Mark 23 written on the front. Looking inside, very, very impressive. You do get some cutouts for the gun itself, the magazine and the suppressor, some nice foam to keep the gun safe. Very, very nice case. I'm very impressed with that. All right, onto the gun. However, this one I'm holding here is a fully upgraded Mark 23. It was kindly lent to me by a good friend of mine for the purpose of the review. So big shout out to Nathan Lover for lending me this. Cheers, mate. What I'll do is um, I'll try and give a brief review of this standard stock. So I'll talk about bits and pieces, but like I said in my previous video, I'm, I'm always learning. So if I make a mistake or I get anything wrong, just leave a comment, I'd, I'd love to learn more. First impression when I'm holding this gun is it's, it's very plastic. It does have a plastic to top slide and a reinforced polymer hand, hand guard. Um, yeah, it's, it's Tokyo Marui. Um, features of the gun has a metal ambidextrous mag release just here underneath. Um, the hammer is uh, metal, just located at the back here. Trigger also metal and the safety catch which is located on this side here is also a metal part hk branding on the gun so you can on this side you can see it does say hk gov 45 cal you have it the same written just here on this side you have uh, usa socum which is just there and you do have tokyo marui's branding up here does come with a uh, fully working foam filled suppressor so i'll just go ahead and take that off to show you the foam inside there you have it foam inside there just like that very super quiet this gun very gas efficient you would get 170 shots on a fully gassed on a fully gassed magazine oh, sorry Take that, take that out. Gas would go in the bottom, inside that little valve bit there. You'd put your valve in there to fill. 28 round capacity. I did explain that this is a non blowback pistol. So however, when the magazine is empty, you wouldn't have to pull the top slide back like you would on a standard gas go back. You would just load a new magazine into the gun and carry on firing. Also, there is a little plate up top here if you wanted to add a uh, red dot optic. It has iron sights, it has one just at the back here and one at the front near the suppressor. Um, looking down the gun, some people say that the, the suppressor gets in the way, but I, I don't feel that's a problem. I've, I've used this many a times and I've never thought that, thought that, but everybody's different, I suppose. Internals of the gun, high quality Marui parts, so your hop up chamber, your your hop-up booking, your 6.02 precision in a barrel, um, very high quality parts, you would expect that with it being Tokyo Marui. To change the hop-up on the gun, um, all you'd need to do is remove the top slide, so if you can see here, there's like a black pin, and all you do is you push that out, pull the top slide back enough so that the all the grooves, there's a little groove on this side, it will line up with this, this little bit on the safety catch here, and then we'll lift off, revealing the hop wheel. And all you do is you twist it either left or right, whichever you want to. If you want to add hop or remove hop, you just twist the wheel. 
Assembly, uh, reassembly is quite straightforward. You just put the top slide on at an angle and lay it flat. Pull it back to push the pin all the way back through. Once the pin's through, let the slide slide forward. Um, can be upgraded uh, when you buy it out of the box. Uh, like my friend has done here, he's put a, a TDC, which stands for top dead center, in here. So to adjust the hop of this gun now, you don't have to take the top slide off. You could just adjust it with an Allen key on the top. Extended barrel, when you saw me to take the silencer off, it had a, the barrel's basically like that, an extension. So it would usually sit flush, but obviously allowing for greater range. Um, right, next part of the review, we're gonna take a look at the uh, Novrich SS, SSX-23. First, before I do show you the gun, we'll have a look at the case itself. Bit disappointed with this case. It's nice, but it doesn't feel as good as the um, Mark 23's case. It's Novich branded on the front. I put a sticker on the back. That's the inside, just padded. Nice protection, it keeps it nice and safe when it's in there. It doesn't rattle about or anything, which is good, but I like the inserts of the, the Mark 23 case. Let's put that down there onto the pistol itself. SSX-23, what you'll find me do in, is it, this is my pistol, I, I don't want to be biased, I'd love to give an equal review for both of them, but you will find me jumping backwards and forwards because they are extremely similar in terms of looks. Um, what you see is what you get, black pistol, 28 round, gas, green gas capacity magazine, very gas efficient, like I said, exactly the same as the Mark 23. 170 rounds um, out of uh, um, one fully gas magazine. No suppressor included, which is very disappointing. You do have to buy that separately. Um, little few differences. Um, one being the construction, the top slide is actually metal, whereas on the Mark 23 it is plastic. The safety catch is also in a different function, in a different place uh, compared to the uh, Mark 23. Safety catch is also is located just here. So to activate the safety catch, you would have to pull the hammer back and press this little catch up so it reveals a little white spot. And that would be the safety catch on. Whereas on the Mark 23, it was this here, which is actually on this one is the slide release. So if you had to take the slide off, that is how you would take the slide off. You'd move that little catcher down and to release the slide. When you buy this gun, you don't have to worry about upgrades. Um, it comes with a TDC standard, top dead center. Um, the internals, um, you get a, a Maple Leaf Autobot hop-up booking. Uh, 6.20 in a barrel. However, the, bar uh, the barrel is, the end is a 16 mil clockwise threaded. On the MK23, it was counterclockwise. This on the SSX is clockwise. Hop-up chamber standard. Um, all the parts for this gun, if you break anything, can be found at novrich.com. Um, I had an issue with this when I bought it. Um, the hop-up the, the, the hop rubber, I'd only used it a couple of times and I, when I looked inside it, it sort of perished. Um, so what I did is I sent him a few pictures and he uh, sent me one free of charge because obviously I shouldn't have done that. Uh, put it all back together and it works just as good. Uh, also, the fact is it's extremely modular. Um, I'll show you with the suppressor first. What, what I mean by modular is that it is foam filled like the MK23, but it can be split down like so, so you can make it smaller if you want to. If you don't want it that size, you can make it a bit smaller. So I'll go ahead and make it a bit smaller for it. I'll show you really quickly. And there you have it. So you screw that on, and then it's smaller than what it was before. I'll give you a demonstration of how quiet this one is. This one is very, very quiet. Just press her on, magazine in, safety catch, and but yeah, very, very quiet. If you're out in the field, nobody's going to hear that. Accessories. Accessories for this gun, as you can see, there is a top rail, which is screwed on with four little Allen key screws. So you can see them just in there. 
That's for your red dot if you want to mount a red dot. Uh, red dot I have is this one just here. It's just a little one. It goes just on the top. I think it looks cool. Some people wouldn't use them. Some people just rely on the iron sights, but I do like the little red dot. I think that's a great addition. Bottom rail, a um, bit of a tricky one to do. You do have to take off the top slide uh, to re... Um, uh, to install that, sorry, um, you'd have two little holes just on the bottom and you would just push through with a little drill bit that you get included to um, to install that bottom rail. As I said, TDC to in, uh, change your hop up if you need to. Uh, next accessory I will show you is this one just here. What this is, this is the 14mm counterclockwise suppressor adapter. What it allows you to do, it allows you to use the Novrich suppressor with any other airsoft gun that you have. So whether it be a pistol, uh, an SMG, an assault rifle, you could use this suppressor with any of your gun, any other of your guns. Next one is this one. Basically, it is the 16mm to 14mm um, suppressor adapter. So you could put this on the end of the barrel of your pistol, and if you watched my previous video, you would have seen this. If you didn't, what this is, is it's the other suppressor that is made by Novrich. So it would allow you to use this on the SSX-23. So obviously you'd screw the adapter into the suppressor. Right, so if I can get it on, like so. And that would go onto the end of the gun, allowing you to use this suppressor on the, on the gun. And it looks a bit overkill, but if you want to, if you want to go large, then that's the one to use. There is a little grub screw, if you can see, there is like a tiny hole just there, you can just see it, which also, you screw the grub screw into that hole so it stops that adapter from coming off. Uh, thumb saver. This is brilliant. If you're ever out in the field, usually you would have plenty of magazines with plenty of BBs in, but if you ever come across a time where you have an empty mag, but you have BBs on you, Instead of pulling down with your thumb, because it can be a pain, just put this on the front, like so, push down, and it keeps the spring down, so you can just blah, 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 with your speed loader, and off you go. You do, and then have a full mag. Uh, next up is my torch. Uh, what this is, is the New Pro NX300. Great torch, absolutely love it. Just mounts onto the bottom. Like so, if you push it down a bit more, locks in place. Looks the part when it's on, just with your thumb, you can turn the torch on. So you haven't got a, you know, looks brilliant when it's on it. Uh, the next accessory uh, is an absolute lifesaver. I never thought of getting one of these myself. If it wasn't for my brother-in-law, AD, he mentioned this. What it is, is a lanyard. What this will do is it will go onto the bottom. You see there's just a little hole just here and it will clip in. So I can get it in. Let's see if I can do it first time. It is a bit of a pain to get in. There we go, in like so. When the pistol is in the holster, I'll show, also show you that as well. So basically you snap it to the holster like so. If it ever does fall out of the holster, if the holster malfunctions, this is going to save you some money. It straps to your clothing, your vest, your top, your belt, wherever you want to put it. And if it does fall out, you're going to drag the gun along with you and not lose it. Absolute lifesaver. However, the holster is great. I do love the holster. It snaps to it. And there's a button just here. And all you do to release it, you press on the button and it comes away. Right, so absolute great piece of kit. Um, Go on to the stickers now. The stickers of uh, customization top and the silencer. These were fitted by my lovely wife, Lucinda. Um, when she applied these, what we had to do, we had to get like a, a heat gun. We just used a hairdryer to bring the detail back in. Um, that's roughly about it for terms of customization. What I'll do next is I'll, I'll give you a demonstration of both of them together. So if I hold both of them up, you can see how they look extremely similar in terms of where the hot units are. The only differences are where the safety catches are. So if I fire off the Mark 23, 
Now the SSX. My opinion, the SSX does sound a little bit quieter. Whether it's because it's running uh, out of gas is uh, to be told. I do like the Novich SSX23 because of its modular status. Um, the fact that all the parts can be bought from Novrich really cheap. Um, I love the TM because, well, it's a TM. They are built to perform. It is a brilliant gun. Both really well, really good. So that brings me to the end of my review. Um, if you liked it, um, hit the like button. Uh, leave a comment in the uh, comments box if I did get anything wrong. Like I said at the start, I'm always learning. Um, any questions? If you didn't like it, then I do apologise. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, see you again soon.